Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So JP just got the details for their New Year's campaign and there are some pretty interesting things in here that I'm sure a lot of you guys would want to know about. So without further ado, let's hop into the news here and see what's going on. Okay, so here is the campaign details. And from the very top, we have your standard stuff like your login bonus, special missions, and the dual Dokkan Festival between PyCon and Janemba. Now this is going to be dropping tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or uh, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Now personally, I'm probably not going to be summoning on these, you know, for JP, but I'm sure people like uh, Truth and also the 5.9 Gaming Crew will be going live at that time, so make sure to tune into their streams. I'll probably be in the chat or something hanging out with you guys as well. Okay, so uh, there's the Dual Dokkan Fest. If you guys want the info for these units and want to see their animations, you can find the video that uh, I made about it a couple days ago. I'll put a link somewhere above my head. Actually on this side probably. Okay, anyways, from there we have a Elder Kai banner. We have some Dragonstone sales. And of course the uh, Dokkan events for PyCon and Janemba respectively. And every single Dokkan event in the game, I believe, should be available every single day during the campaign. So for anybody that, you know, is like me on JP, who still needs to awaken a bunch of units, this is going to be super, super useful since you don't have to use any Kai's to, you know, run Dokkan events, right? And from there, this one, I think, is the event where you can get the new Beku, the AGL free-to-play Beku. I could be wrong, but I think that's what this is. And then we have some uh, story events returning, the other world events. We have the legendary campaign for LR Krillin. Now, if you guys haven't finished Krillin at this point, I'm pretty sure you can't anymore because I think the event was taken down for the preparation period. But uh, yeah, if you guys have Krillin, then you'll get the extra, I think it's 10 stones, couple of Kai's, couple of reversal medals, you know, your standard stuff, right? And then for people who you know, finish him during the campaign, or still have him during the campaign, then you'll get the 20 stones, some more Kai's, if you rainbow him, you get the uh, orbs back, all that stuff, right? So it should be your standard legendary campaign, as far as I'm aware, and, you, know, you know, very similar to like, the ones for Prime Battle Cell, and so on and so forth. Alright, so after that, we have a new Prime Battle LR for JP, the LR Bobbity and Boo, and that's also gonna be dropping tonight I believe yes it seems like the same time as everything else so yeah also dropping tonight so there's gonna be a lot of stuff for JP players to do in this campaign man I'm honestly kind of jealous as a global main I'm really hoping that globals campaign will be even like 70% as good as the JP one because there's a lot of stuff and we yo, we only got through like half it so far there's still like a couple of extreme Z battles um, new explosive chain battle so on and so forth you know, let's just get to it. Okay, so we have the new Prime Battle. Really, really good free-to-play LR, by the way. Really, really strong. And also awesome animations. Once again, go check out that video where uh, I break down everything. And we have the Extreme Super Battle Road and Super Battle Road stages. Or, you know, both events available every single day during the campaign as well. A new uh, explosive... No, uh, a new Battlefield slash Ultimate Clash. Uh, the Hercules Heart Pounding Gifts login bonus will be available starting on the 1st until the 7th, so 7 days of an extra login bonus for between 1 to 7 stones. And the next Dokkan Festival 120 lead, Extreme Z Battle, Extreme Z Awaken, Awakening, is for this dude right here, the STR Super Janemba. Now, if he's any anything like you know, I was gonna say anywhere close to as good as Int Janemba, but he should be better. He definitely should be better than Int Janemba if we follow the trend, right? And Int Janemba, like still at this point, is one of the better TURs in the game. He's still really good offensively and defensively. So, I mean, I'm expecting a lot from this guy because he has big shoes to fill. Like he has Int Janemba's uh, shoes to fill and I think they will make him definitely at least a bit better, maybe a lot better than Int Janemba, and that's just gonna be crazy, man, because like I said, Int Janemba, uh, given how old he is, given how long he got his Extreme, like how long ago he got his Extreme Z Awakening, he's still amazing. He's still top tier. So yeah, STR Janemba better be absolutely 
incredible, you know, and I think he will be. So once the details come out, I'll make sure to uh, keep you guys filled in, of course. And uh, honestly, like I was really hoping that Cooler would get the easy A next, but given the fact that we are getting a new Janemba, um, it makes sense, of course, that Janemba gets the easy A over Cooler this time. Hopefully Cooler will be next. We'll have to see. Um, you know what? The good thing is, I think the longer they wait for Cooler, the more busted he's going to be. So, you know, that's the, the positive from this, obviously. But yeah, Janemba's easy is coming. I can't wait. And uh, there's the banner with uh, Kaioken Goku. There's a category banner, skip. There's the Radish event. And, uh, you know, some uh, Extreme Z Awakenings or Extreme Z Battles. Story events coming back as well. And uh, in terms of anything else that's exciting... Um, oh, yeah, so new Extreme Z Battle for two more units. So on top of the Janemba, there's also going to be Extreme Z Awakenings for the Saiyan Saga Fizz Vegeta and Kaioken Goku. Tech Kaioken Goku. And these two guys are still pretty solid units in my opinion. Like, I think they're still pretty useful for any events that allow you to stack for multiple turns, right? Because they both are stackers. And uh, they've helped me a lot, you know, in uh, LGE, Infinite Dragon Ball History, and so on and so forth, right? Like the events that are longer, these guys are still very good. So if they're getting Extreme Z Awakenings now, they're probably going to be pretty busted too for like non token FS units, that is. I mean, just look at the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku that recently got an Extreme Z Awakening on JP. Like he is so good. So... Yeah, I'm expecting these guys to be pretty crazy as well. And uh, finally, at the very bottom here, we have a new explosive chain battle. And the boss this time is going to be a Super Saiyan Angel Vegeta. Okay, so there you go, guys. Those are all the details for the New Year's campaign on JP. Oh, one last thing. I'm not sure where it says it. It might be like this text or something like that. I can't really read Japanese, as you guys know, so... I just got after after cats basically, right? But um, I heard that somewhere in here they talk about a new, you know, banner or some kind of a special sale coming for New Year's. And by all means, we gotta assume that they're talking about the New Year's Step Up banner. Okay, so basically, it's been confirmed that we will be getting the Step Up banner. I mean, I think a lot of us already knew that was a thing because we've had it for literally the last like three years, right? But um, it's good to have a confirmation, or maybe two years, at least, at least the last two years we've had step-up banners. So anyways, um, it was going to happen one way or another, but it's nice to have it confirmed in the news, even though I don't know which part of the news actually says it. So look forward to that. Um, that is definitely a banner that most people, most players, will want to summon on for sure, because you get that guaranteed LR, guaranteed you know, category, super and extreme lead, 120 lead. Um, Extremes the Awakenable unit, so just really, really good value for your stones. Anyways, guys, that is the video. Hope you guys are excited on, excited on the JP side. And uh, if you guys are summoning on Janemba and PyCon tonight, then I wish you the best of luck. Hope you guys pull them in a very reasonable amount of stones. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. Join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here, until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger, with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.